Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Here I talk about skincare, beauty, makeup, or what happens to be stuck in my crawl that day. Who knows? Now today I'm going to be talking about an exfoliating powder. Yes, a physical exfoliant. I don't normally use them, but occasionally I do enjoy them. Uh, but before we get started, I'm just letting you know beforehand, uh, as an adult, I tend to curse, and I'm also very opinionated. So if foul language or someone's else, someone else's <laughs> opinion about a brand that you love that contradicts your own um, is going to get you butt hurt, please just move on. That... Being said, <laughs> today I want to talk about the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the bottle up here. I'm going to get it closer so it's not all bleached out uh, from the light. Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. Bring it back. There we go. Mm, Vanna White. Okay. So I had high hopes for this, honestly. I, I had high hopes um, because Good Molecules, I've seen a lot of reviews about how good it was so I picked it up when there was a sale you know I'm thrifty um, and poor shit mm. and so I picked this up along with a mini cleansing balm which eventually I will talk about as well but I'm just gonna hit the four ingredients that are kind of outstanding in this you've got diglycerin pineapple fruit extract allantoin and ascorbic acid now ingredients wise um, I don't see issue with this like I, I've never I never thought there was an issue with any of that you know you've got your moisturizer your mectant you've got some soothing you've got some antioxidants some skin brightening now it is a wash off treatment so some of a little bit of that's gonna stick around uh, most of it's gonna get washed off um, but um, I compared this to the one physical exfoliating powder that I truly enjoy which is the um, Give me a second. Dermalogica. There we go. Micro daily microfoliant. Is it the daily microfoliant? Yeah. And I bought like the travel size bottle that's about this big. I'm not going to go run and get it. I apologize. But I think I made a video on it before. Anyway. Um, and that the it, it the texture of it is very, very, very fine. And basically you just put the powder in your hand, you add a little water. And you kind of mush it up and then you add it to your face and very gently, gently, you know, rub it around your face. Keep it out of the eyeballs. Mm, don't put exfoliating powder in your eyeballs, you know, and then when you're done, you rinse it off, pat it dry. Easy peasy. Well, first of all, I'm going to knock some of this out for you so you can see it. And this thing is about seven eighths full. So I only used it, I think, three or four times. And the little, it has a little round uh, opening there. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just dump some out here. You're not going to be able to see it that well because here, hold on. There we go. Oop. And there it goes on the table. But anyway, and then you just add water, you know, and then you move it around and then you wash your face. Okay. Whoa. Trash can. Give me a second. Mm. Shitty kitty. Okay. Right oh, okay. Okay, so what I can tell you is that this does exfoliate. It exfoliates nicely. I don't think it works as well as the dermatological one, but it does work. Um, what I can tell you is that it seems the particles used in this uh, to exfoliate uh, seem to be a little bit bigger because I had to be extraordinarily careful when I use this, as to not just rip the shit out of my face. Um, and as long as I did that, it wasn't an issue. But after about the third or fourth time of using this, so over a month, because I don't do this, the most I will ever do this is once a week. Uh, and I usually don't do it that often. Um, but if I'm looking splotchy and I'm, and I'm pretty consistent with my normal chemical exfoliation, and like for some reason my skin is just in the shit 
I'll whip out this or I'll whip out one of those silicone face scrubbers. It's like the, what is that brand? Ferreo? There we go. But it's $6 at YesStyle. Works exactly the damn same without all the crap ass software on your phone. <laughs> and, um, but after about the third time, um, it started burning my face. Now, here's my theory. <laughs> Here is my theory on what is up with this. Um, I think it is a combination between the size of the physical exfoliant in here uh, I, and the um, pineapple fruit extract because, uh, side note, anything with like pumpkin enzyme in it is like acid on my face. So I'm guessing that the pineapple extract or pineapple fruit extract, yeah, in this is what's causing the irritation. Now it could be that the once a week use was just too frequent for my skin and that could be the case, but anything that I use once a week that really has nothing in it besides physical little particles in it, and I don't remember which this is, do I have anything here? Yeah, it's rice powder, yeah, rice powder. Uh, it's just the pieces are too big or maybe the other stuff in with those rice pieces uh, sticks to those rice pieces, makes them bigger. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know, but this just didn't work out for me. Now, I am betting that most people who use something like this, um, are never going to have a problem with this. Probably never. I'm, I'm, ugh, I'm betting that no one else is going to have an issue with this. But unfortunately, with these fruit extracts, which are good exfoliators, kind of on the chemically side, chemical side, chemically. Ugh. Anyway, um, I think that I just have to be really careful because my skin, it doesn't like them. That fuck all. Um, the only one that I have found that hasn't irritated me yet is, I think, apple. Uh, I think there may have been a raspberry in one. I, I can't completely recall here. And when I eventually run into the product reviews, you'll know, because I'll mention that, oh yeah, this is one of the fruit extracts that don't fuck up my face. But, I mean, for the price, it, it's, it's, fan I mean, look at that size. It's freaking... What is it? It's two ounces, but I mean, it, this is the size of like a no more, normal um, toner bottle, like a liquid toner, like uh, Cos Rx or um, what other toner do I have? Or like an, an Essence, like a Megwark Ash is a little smaller than those, the I'm Froms. But um, overall, if you <sighs> could be the vitamin C2, the ascorbic acid, but if you have sensitive skin, Number one, I wouldn't recommend this kind of physical ex exfoliant. Or if you have, I don't know that it would be good for someone with rosacea or eczema either, as that physical part of it could irritate that issue. Um, but if you're a normal person that normally uses um, exfoliating powder and you've not had any issues with any sort of chemical exfoliation, especially plant-based, like fruit-based, then you're probably going to like this. But unfortunately for my sensitive and Ugh, reactive skin. <laughs> this just didn't work out for me. You know, it's a decent product. Um, I don't think it works as well as my Dermalogica micro, microfoliant, but just my skin and it worked. That works better for me than this did. So I'm actually going to find someone that needs this and get it to them because I just, I'm not putting this back on on my face. Now, if I can't find anyone that wants this, <laughs> I'll probably use it on my feet like I do the uh, Use to the People Herba Mate uh, facial thing because I can't put that on my face either. Uh, but it does work very well on your heels. Mm, yeah. Uh, so that may be where this goes, just in the shower. So when I'm showering and I need to exfoliate elbows or I need to exfoliate heels, this is probably going to work for me. But on my face, absolutely not. Just new. Um, so yeah, that's it. Kind of. I mean, it worked. My skin just hated it. And that, 
there's nothing wrong with this product, I don't think. I think they're, my skin is so weird and alien that sometimes normal stuff just doesn't work out for me. So have any of you all tried this? Let me know down below in the comments if it worked for you, if it didn't work for you, what type of skin you have, just so I can get an idea. Maybe it's just my type of skin. Maybe it's my age. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's alien skin. I don't know. I always call it alien skin because my face reacts to strange stuff. Like, I had uh, surgery last year, okay? And um, they um, did not stitch me shut. They used uh, surgical, the surgical glue in the sutures. I had a freaking reaction. They had to put me on steroids <laughs> because I brought just scratching my skin off, itchy, red, red. Oh, I was miserable for about two days. Um, but luckily, I just sent a photo to my surgeon and he, and she's like, okay, um, I'm gonna call you in a prescription. So I think I did a week or two of steroids and then I was fine. But now I know that adhesives, I'm allergic to some adhesives. Who the fuck is allergic to surgical? Apparently me. Um, yeah, but um, Overall decent, just didn't work for me. And I think that the rice particles in it are too big for people with sensitive or reactive skin or if you have rosacea or eczema. And I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember on YouTube, there are a couple of dermatologists that I watch and I don't remember if they say not to physical exfoliate if you have one of those two. Anyhow, you can go on YouTube. There are actual dermatologists that know what the fuck they're talking about with physical exfoliation and rosacea and eczema. Anyway, and I think it's kind of individualized anyway because everyone's skin's different. Um, yeah, another weird allergy, Neosporin. No fucking shit. Anywho, um, I wanna thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you sticking around for all of my crazy ass ranting. Uh, and go ahead and hit the like if you liked it, dislike. Leave me comments, hit subscribe and the notification bell when you want to hear this crazy old ass bitch rant about or rave about some other skincare or makeup product. <laughs> but I just want to let you guys know, please, please be safe out there. Wear your sunscreen and I'll see you next time. Bye! Do, 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 do. Hmm.